for, for either of you, what are you guys looking most forward to for uh, your senior day? Uh, really just all, all my support system to come out, all my family, all my friends coming out and just, um, you know, just showing love. Uh, last home game, probably one of the probably the last game I played at home um, in, in Maryland. So, um, you know, it's a special day for both of us, and I'm just happy to get out there and enjoy it with, with our teammates. Uh, just going out there to be able to play in front of my family maybe one more time, uh, you know, close to home. And just go out there and just, uh, you know, see the fans uh, cheer for us maybe one more last time, you know, while we at Maryland. So, Both you guys made the decision to come back this year, to, for this year. What has it meant to you to get to this point, to go through this season, to get to senior day with what you guys having made that decision and really committed to the university? Uh, I mean, you know, it just means a lot because, uh, you know, you put your hard work and dedication into it and not everybody sees the grind. Not everybody sees the challenges that you uh, overcome every day. And uh, getting to this point just, uh, you know, means another milestone in, in our lives, you know, because you only got so many games and just it's an honor to come back and be able to, uh, you know, give it one more year and uh, just go out there and play, so. Yeah, like Dante said, uh, just not taking anything for granted, um, being able to come back and, you know, pour a lot into this program. Um, you know, uh, this program means a lot to both of us, and, you know, we've we've worked hard and, you know, poured a lot into this program. So, uh, you know, it just means a lot to be able to get to this point, and I'm just thankful for the opportunity to play here and uh, wear Maryland across our chest. Knowing that there's a chance that there might only be three games left in your collegiate career, how much extra motivation is that to you guys and, and to the guys in the locker room to try to extend the season? Uh, yeah, it's really just going out, um, making sure that we're having fun, um, making sure that, you know, we're playing, you know, with it, with a purpose, with a chip on our shoulder, knowing that um, we only have a few left. Um, so I'm just trying to extend the season and um, just, you know, bring the guys along and to stay together so um, we could uh, go out on the right foot. Um, for, for both of you, um, you, you have the perspective of having been here through ups and downs, um, you know, as, as you prepare to move on. I know it's been a frustrating season, but how do you feel about the direction of the program um, as, as, as you leave? Uh, I feel like it's gonna, only going to go up from here. Uh, you know, we might not have the season that we wanted to have, but they're bringing in a couple, uh, you know, talented players uh, for next year and uh, really hope that they uh, really turn things around where we uh, couldn't, like, pick up. You know, we had a couple tough losses, but, you know, that's just the game. Um, but... I feel like this program is really uh, just going to be looking up, especially when them making a new facility where they can, uh, you know, be able to get away and uh, actually work on their game a little bit better without having to go through some obstacles. So, Yeah, I mean, I feel like um, it's in good hands. Um, under Kevin Willard, you know, a great coach, um, um, a lot of potential with, you know, the young guys that we have and, you know, guys that they're bringing in. So um, only, only positive things from here, I feel like, and, you know, under Kevin Willard, um, I feel like the only thing is going to be be able to get to the top. Uh, Dante, you got here when you were 18, 19 years old. Jameer, you've been here for two years. Uh, just personally, how have you seen yourselves grow as leaders and as players on the court during your time here? Uh, when I first came here, I wasn't that much of a talker, you know, when it comes to the court stuff. But uh, I feel like I've blossomed in that uh, perspective, just being more of a talker, uh, being more of a guy to try to, you know, keep the team together a little bit. And uh, just changes a man, and, uh, you know. It gives that thanks to you know all the coaches that came before and the coaches that came now, that are here now, and uh, you know, just that I've grown in a lot of uh, multiple ways, just like mental and physically. And uh, you know, it takes a lot. It takes a village, like they say. And I feel like I had a lot of good men behind me helping me out with the uh, difficult challenges in my life. So. I mean, I feel like I was um, kind of the same way with just, you know, going with the flow, uh, coming into college and um, not being much of a leader, kind of just taking a back seat. But, you know, as my college career has gone on, I feel like I've grown into a leadership role and um, guys look to me um, in terms of leadership, in terms of, you know, controlling the team. So um, it's crazy just to know that um, it's been five years and I've been in school for five years. But, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just thankful. I'm glad. Um, that I've been able to make it this far um, um, injury-free as well. So I'm um, just thankful to be here um, and just thankful for the growth. And a quick follow-up to that, uh, just about Indiana on Sunday. Um, you guys played them 
I think it was literally your first Big Ten game this season. Um, you guys struggled a little bit, but how have you grown since then as a team, and what's the game plan going into that? I feel like our defense has gotten a lot better since then, and uh, I feel like going into the, the Big Ten play, we weren't as ready as we uh, needed to be, but um, coming out now, I feel like we got some things clicking, and I feel like we're going to get back on the uh, wave of just like trying to get this game out of the way and win. And I feel like uh, that's what we can do and we're capable of, you know. Some nights not, may not be the best, but uh, I believe that soon we'll hit shots. And the sooner we'll hit shots, uh, things will click a lot more because our defense is there. It's just all about our offense when it comes to making shots sometimes. So. I have to ask, uh, Old Dominion uh, announced, announced today that Mike Jones is going to be taking over the head coach of their program. I know, Jameer, you're smiling. Uh, yeah. What has uh, what he meant to the program and to you guys specifically? Obviously, the math, I think, was self. Yeah, I mean, he's left his mark here. Um, he's, he wasn't here for long, but um, for him to be able to come home and, you know, being able to um, – for him to be able to coach myself and the rest of my teammates was special. Um, just being able to pass down knowledge, um, such a knowledgeable coach, and he's been around for a long time, and I'm excited for him. I know he's excited, so um, just – just pushing for him. I'm just excited for him, and uh, I know he's thankful for the opportunity, and I know he's going to do well. So, does it take a little pressure off this game because you've kind of been, you've been through this before, the senior day experience, and you're not going to be uptight and worried <laughs> that you're like you know I can, we can worry about Indiana because uh, you kind of been there, done that. Yeah, I mean um, the real focus is the game. Um, even though it's senior night, um, a lot of people, a lot of emotions, a lot of people is going to be there, but. Um, we're focused on winning the game. Um, we're focused on um, the task at hand, and that's coming out with a W. So um, all the dist other distractions are going to be put to the side, and um, we're going to make sure that uh, we're locked in. Hey, Dante, for you, um, you know, talking about being here for five seasons, just how, how special this run has been. I mean, this is also a period of time where it's kind of rare to see someone be at one program for so long also. Uh, just what has Maryland meant to you, and how special have these past five years been? Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, see this family, uh, you know, not too many guys come into programs and uh, think that they uh, want to be here for that long, you know, if that's from going to the NBA or maybe things not working out with the plans and they transferred. But me, I'm very loyal to uh, the things I uh, go to. Uh, I've been very loyal to any team I've uh, stepped on, and that's what I just try to do. Uh, these five years and being here for five years means a lot, you know, being in the same place for a while without people uh, trying to kick you out, uh, you know, means a lot. Uh, so, yeah, you know, you still got your supporters. You're always going to have your uh, people that hate, but, you know, your supporters always outweigh that. So when you look back, can you believe that, uh, I mean, pre COVID celebrating that, you know, share of the big 10 title on the court. Can you believe you got from there to now and how quickly that time has passed? Uh, I just feel like yesterday, but, uh, you know, just all the people that uh, play with play with me uh, in the game and stuff like that uh, since I was a freshman all the way up to now, you know, that's really what made the difference in uh, me being in uh, College Park. Uh, you know, I consider all these guys my brother, you know, and not too many people can say that, but, you know, whatever these guys need, I got their back, and uh, that goes a long way for me, so. Thank you. Yeah, um, Coach Willard has talked about how many tough losses you guys have had this year that you're you're maybe 20 points separated from a really satisfying season that has you pointed toward the tournament. Do you feel like this is a, a better team than the record reflects? And if you had to say why those 20 points haven't gone your way, what, what would you say at this point? Yeah, um, I, I would say, you know, our, our, our guys, um, our team, just as a whole, um, it doesn't reflect our, our record. Um, but um, as a whole, I feel like uh, – We've been staying positive, and we've been coming to work every day, and uh, we're not getting down. So um, I feel like uh, everything is everything is everything is tough. Winning is tough. So um, it comes to like a free throw block out or um, uh, passing up on a good shot to get a better shot. Uh, just little things like that, um, which separated us from uh, maybe winning some of those games. And um, just looking back. Um, uh, it's, it's tough, but I mean, we're still here as a team. We're still sticking together, and um, we're just going to keep pushing. We're going to keep working and um, just try to keep the season alive.